hello everyone we'll show the lab setup now the first thing we have to do is we have to start our oracle vm virtual box, box manager which is free from the internet you can download and install the software and once you start this software you get this nice interface and the first thing you have to do is create a new vm machine click the new virtual machine you shall the first thing you are going to type is the backtrack installation so we are going to install backtrack back backtrack 5 and the release version is release 3 or let's say release 1 and then we have got the operating system to be linux and it's a ubuntu based os so we'll keep that as default then we have to allocate the ram memory for the virtual machine by default it recommends 512 mb and if you got plenty of space you can even upgrade it to 2GB but I'll give an optimal RAM space of 1024MB or 1GB and then we create a new hard disk for this VM image and when you're doing this hard disk image you can create it as a VMDK because this is intercompatible with your VMware software as well next we'll let it uh, grow dynamically up to the maximum size and let the maximum size be 8 GB as specified in the default and finally we have created a virtual machine instance in virtual box manager but still we need to configure as in customize the system before we can even install backtrack the first setting is we have to co customize the network and in the network because we are creating our own virtual network topology it has to be in bridged mode it is very essential otherwise our labs will not work we have set it to bridged adapter and then when we go into the storage we have got an empty DVD we can uh, remove the default DVD and create a new image which is backtrack 5 R1 GNOME 32 for installation purposes and press OK we have configured the network and the storage vt 5 r one Genome32 installation and once we have selected this we start the virtual machine by higher focusing on vt 5 r one and pressing the start button here you see that the focus is on backtrack text default boot text mode it will automatically by default boot up in 30 seconds but if you want to manually start it up press enter and if you want to know what is the process running in the background if it's not stuck you can press escape but we, uh, by the way we see we already got the command prompt for backtrack by default because we are running the backtrack in a live DVD mode we have got the command prompt which we are going to start the GUI by typing the command word startx and there we go we have got the backtrack desktop here we are still running on the backtrack live DVD that means if you do any setting changes any new installation of any new sub version of the software it will not be permanently stored to make sure it says a permanently stored data we are going to install backtrack now by double clicking on backtrack and we select the default operation of English be please free feel feel free to install the language of your choice and then we get into our time zone which is right now 421 in Indian time afternoon then we select the keyboard which is USA by default and then it has uh, selects if you want to give the full 8 GB for the installation of backtrack which will take as default and press forward and finally it summarizes the installation 
configuration for you if you see you have selected the keyboard as USA location as Asia and all the default options and now we press install it will take around 10 to 15 minutes for the installation to complete during this time we will actually pause the video now hello back we are now seeing that the OS has been installed after installation we have to restart the system so we'll shut down the system now and if you see it's starting up as I said if you want to look at the message if it's working or not press escape and you see all the files starting up finally you get the login command prompt and the prompt the username over here for backtrack by default is root R O O T and the default password is the reverse of root which is T double O R and finally we got the command prompt and again to start the graphics we are going to type in star text finally we got an installed backtrack system where we can do any of our normal Linux functionalities over here and before we go any further into any other labs I would like you to familiarize with all the different components of backtrack in which the main functionality of all the security tools is assembled into one menu function which is the backtrack menu function and then it is categorized according to the functions you need to provide and in this the first information gathering vulnerability as assessment exploitation tool privilege escalation all these tools are present let us browse the same system and command line yes and if you list it we are right now in the desktop of the root directory so let us go to the base of the system which is the main directory and when you press ls we see all these different directories and people who are familiar with Linux you see that most of the directories are the same as uh, similar to Ubuntu and Debian except for one special directory in backtrack which is pen test and this contains all the penetration testing tools and again as we see in the menu if we go into this directory you see that the tools are organized according to the categories and one of the main tools we will be using later is in the exploits and in exploits if you see the framework this is the metasploit framework which we will be using on the final module pen testing module for our whole simulation of the hacking methodology which is a framework tool now guys we have got a lot of different tools we'll be using in this system and one of the popular tools we'll be using is called as nmap and you see there's a lot of help options available in here and I would suggest you guys to seriously start practicing the different tools in Linux I'm not just saying tools the basic Linux CL I command line interface as in CD the IF config which is the equivalent of IP config in Windows netstat to check on all the open connections right now into the network and and special notice if people are using backtrack 4 
by default the networking is not enabled which is actually enabled in backtrack 5 which we are using right now if the network is not default enabled the only functionality you have to do is type in dh client and if you see you are being offered an IP address and if you want to check the IP address you got an IP address of 172.16.0.82 where the gateway is 172.16.0.5 now we will shut down the backtrack system and we'll concentrate on setting up the target installations and one of the popular target installations will be metasploitable or windows xp but shutting down the linux system what is the command the easiest command is init space zero let's have a look and the system is shutting down and there you go and now we will install other systems and the concept of installing target systems is the same as what we did just now by installing backtrack 5 let us start off with the installation of windows xp service pack 3 Yes guys we are starting the installation of Windows XP let's type it as win XP installation again same concepts of giving the amount of RAM 1024 create a new hard disk and for Windows XP again the default size of 8 GB is more than enough And then please do remember to change the network adapter to bridged as I repeatedly been saying if it's not in the bridged adapter it will not work with the network topology and we have chosen a disk which is the Windows XP professional and then is the normal installation of windows xp guys and this is the wrap of video one thank you and join us for the second video of how to ping on windows xp machine from a backtrack machine thank you